Hello there. Um, it's been a while. The end of the term is always a super busy time and I always think that I'll be able to film, edit and upload videos and I never, ever manage to. So, we're back. Today I wanted to share with you an organisation tip that has been changing the way that I manage my time. I don't know about you, but I am in such a bad habit of writing down a mini to-do list on, you know, scrap bits of paper, taking a few things off, but then there'll always be a few things that just aren't quite ticked off or don't quite make the list because they're not a priority. And this is the solution. Today we're going to be putting the why in DIY. And I'll tell you why. What we're going to be making is essentially an organisation board. So instead of writing to-do lists on scrap pieces of paper, you write them on little index cards and pin them to a wider to-do list. But this to-do list has a hierarchy of priority. So there'll be sections for things that are urgent, things that you should do soon, and things that you should just do when you get a chance. But the beauty is that things can move up or down the hierarchy depending on how urgent they are. And I will show you how to make it. For this, you will need one corkboard, a metric shit ton of push pins, some index cards, preferably colourful, a pair of scissors, a pen, and finally, ambition. I have a dream, and it is to get my shit together. First, you will need to grab some of your index cards. I get mine from WH Smith's. Next, take three different index cards, preferably different colours, and cut them in half. Take one of each colour and give each one an individual heading. One should say urgent, one should say do soon, and one should say when you have the time. Now place these at the top of the board, and one by one, pin them in. Next, grab more index cards and this time cut them into quarters. Now these are going to be the things that you write each individual task on. So I like to colour code mine personally. For me, blue means general life admin, yellow means academic, pink means YouTube and Instagram content that I need to make, and green is a few secret projects that I'm working on. Other categories that these could be, clubs and societies, extracurricular activities, um, if you have a hobby like you're learning guitar or something like that, that could be one of the colours, you know, make it personal to you. So, use these quarters to write down individual tasks that you need to do. There we go, so now we have loads of tasks, loads of things to do, we can pop them into the to-do list. And this is where you start prioritising. Now there will be things which are urgent, which you desperately need to do, which you have a specific deadline for. If those are coming up and are soon, put them in your urgent pile. If there are things that are coming up but you don't necessarily need to think about right now, put them in your do soon pile. And if there are general things that you kind of would like ideally to do um, and you want to make a note of it but you don't really want to do it now or you're not really thinking about you doing it in the next week, just pop it in the when I have time pile. Now the beauty of this is by having that, when you have like a free half an hour or hour or you're being productive and you want to do something else, you can just check that pile and if there's a really menial small task that you can get done and tick something off, then that's the perfect way to remember to do it. I usually keep reminders to do laundry or tidy my room in that pile and then I can kind of move them up the categories when it becomes urgent and I'm on my last pair of pants. Then when you've completed a task, remove it from the board. This will clear up a space in that section and I like to just move something from the section behind it into that section. And then as you tick one task off, another takes its place. So you kind of are always thinking about what do I actually need to do next? When I've only written on one side of the notes, I put it just at the bottom of the board so that I can use the other side as well because we love the planet. And there you go, there is your completed organisation board. I've also reused this lid of a cardboard box just to store my extras in it, and I also try to keep a couple of them um, of each colour in my bag, which I take along with me, and inside my academic planner, so that when I'm on the go and a task comes up, or someone tells me, hey, could you do this? Or if I, you know, owe someone money, you can just write it down really quickly and pin it to your board as soon as you get home. Because although this is fantastic, it is not that portable. You could hang it up on a wall, you could lean it against something else in your room, I personally keep mine leaning on my chest of drawers. And yeah, it's basically a really good way of just constantly reminding yourself what needs doing right now, what needs doing later, what you could do if you just have a free moment, um, and basically just getting on top of everything. One thing I also want to start doing is adding actual dates to each thing so I kind of can keep track of whether things need to go up into the urgent pile, and I just try to check this every morning, um, and it works really really well just to remind me what I need to do, um, and yeah, just kind of triggers those other thoughts. I genuinely have noticed an increase in productivity, I haven't missed any deadlines recently, I've been very very on top of things and I really think it's down to this board and so I wanted to just make a quick little video explaining how you can use it too. Don't say I don't treat you. So thank you very very much for watching, if you enjoyed this video or found it useful please give it a thumbs up, if you make this tag me on Instagram, my username is at jackbenedwards. Subscribe for more from me and I promise there will be loads more content coming very very soon. But for now I've been Jack Edwards, thank you for watching and I will We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.